All right, so in this video, we are going to be making use of something called Pi Auto GUI. This is a automation tool for GUI programs on your desktop. These programs are not necessarily limited to anything web-based. So in the past on this channel, we've covered things like Selenium, which is uh, automation for your browser. So this will work with anything GUI related as we'll see. So this page that I'm currently on is the documentation page for Pi Auto GUI. Uh, so if you want more information on this particular package, I will leave this link in the description to this video. If you're interested in this type of content, I will also point you to the following talk that was given by Al Swigert entitled Automating Your Browser and Desktop Apps. It's a really great talk that doesn't just focus on Pi Auto GUI, but also focuses on some of the other stuff on this channel, like web scraping and web automation. So if you're a fan of that stuff on this channel, I'll encourage you to check out this talk. And coincidentally, Al Swigert is also the author of the following book, which is called Automate the Boring Stuff with Python. And a nice thing about this book is it's released under the Creative Commons license. So if you want, you're free to read this book completely for free online. And uh, I'm in no way affiliated with Al Swigert or this book at all. I just think it's really cool stuff. And if you're interested in this type of content, you will probably be interested in this book as well. Again, no affiliation whatsoever. I think it's just uh, something that hopefully you will find useful. Finally, uh, I will also put all of these links in the description below to the video. One final link I will point out before getting started is this link here, which you can also find through the docs. This is the installation steps for Pi Auto GUI. So based on your uh, operating system, there's steps for each one. So the nice thing about Pi Auto GUI is it is cross-platform. So it works on Mac, Linux, and Windows. So your uh, directions for insta installing Pi Auto GUI for your respective operating system will be found here. So if you follow those steps, then you can follow along with me as I write a very simple program that does the following thing. So let me minimize this and go to my terminal. I'm actually going to show you what we're going to accomplish in this video by just running something right now. So I'm just going to run this script. I'm going to pop open a paint application and then I'm going to let go of the mouse. So what you see now is the Python application at work. It is automatically drawing this fun little shape here and that's what we're going to do. We're going to write code using Pi Auto GUI to make uh, make this happen. So that is what we're going to do. Pretty simple application, uh, but a pretty powerful library. So you can automate just about anything GUI on your desktop. This is obviously not very useful, but hopefully you can kind of extrapolate from here and see where the util utility may be found. Okay, so I'm just going to undo this amazing picture here. I'm going to minimize this and then we're going to get to coding. All right, so first things first is we're going to create a file which we'll call hello pi auto GUI dot pi, which is just a Python file. So you can call it whatever you like. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to import pi auto GUI, of course. This is the main thing that we're going to be using in this particular tutorial. The next thing that we want to do is import time as well. Time is a library that you should have installed already if you have either Python 2 or Python 3 by default. So the reason that we want this is because when we run our code, you'll notice that we need a little bit of a buffer of time to go from the terminal to the program, in this case, the paint program. So that way we can actually have it manipulate the paint program and not the terminal. So we're actually gonna say time.sleep. This is basically just gonna wait for us to move out of the terminal and into our paint program. It's gonna give us five seconds to do that. Then what we're gonna to wanna to do is say pi auto GUI dot click. And this is going to make sure that the focus is on the program that is on the front of the screen. So once we run this code, minimize it, go over to the paint program, the automation tool will click to make sure that the program in front of it will be in focus, in this case, the paint program, and then we'll make it do its magic. So before we do that, let's declare a variable which we'll call distance, and we'll set this equal to an arbitrary value of 400. This is gonna to correspond to the number of pixels that will move. So let's define a while loop and we'll say while distance is strictly greater than zero, we'll do the following thing. So the first thing is we'll say pi auto GUI 
dot drag rel. This is a function that's provided by the Pi Auto GUI library, and it takes three parameters. So the first is the x amount of distance to move, the y amount of distance to move, and also the amount of time to actually move that distance. So I'm putting in uh, an x position of distance, so this is 400 pixels to the right, and then a y distance of zero, so it's not gonna move up or down at all along the y axis, and then it's gonna move to the right by 400 pixels for a duration of 0 0.2 seconds. So we're gonna do that. Then we're going to set distance is equal to distance minus 50, so we're going to decrease distance by 50 after we run that. Then what we'll do is we'll have a similar call to the line above. We'll say pi auto GUI dot drag rel. Again, same function takes similar parameters. We'll say don't move along the x axis, move along the y axis uh, of distance. So in this case, now it's 350 pixels. And then for a duration of 0 0.2 seconds, uh, we'll say a similar thing here, another call to the drag rel function, pi auto GUI dot drag rel. We'll say minus distance, zero for the y, and then a duration of 0 0.2 seconds. Uh, so one final decrease of the distance variable here. So we'll say distance is equal to distance minus 50. And then one final drag relative. So we'll say pi auto GUI dot drag rel. And then we'll put zero for the x, uh, a distance of minus distance for the y, and then another duration of 0 0.2 seconds. So that's pretty much it. This is the code that was responsible for running the uh, initial thing that we saw in the beginning, the thing that I ran. This is exactly the same code. So with any luck, if I go ahead and run this code, say Python 2, the name of this is hello pi auto GUI. I'm gonna run this. I'm gonna move over quickly, hopefully, to this thing, and then hopefully we'll see this go over one time. So let's see, we have a bit of an error here. Uh, so I see I spelled duration uh, the incorrect way. So let me just hit enter and then make sure that I spell uh, duration correctly here. Right, there's no second T in duration, duration. Uh, oops, yeah, let me actually spell it right here. Duration, oh man, okay, that is, the hardest part of writing this code is spelling things properly. Okay, so we have that. Let's try and run it again, and hopefully we'll run this, move over to our paint program, and then it'll just go ahead and write over this line, this beautiful line that we drew, and there it is, just, oh, it's gorgeous, beautiful, amazing. Look at that, artwork. And you can have artwork on your computer too if you write this code and run it. So, that was... That will hopefully revisit Pi Auto GUI in subsequent tutorials. I just wanted to kind of get up and running really quickly with this example. So I hope this was helpful and we'll be seeing this again shortly, I'm sure. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.